Hi everybody and welcome in this new video. My name is Daniel and today I'm gonna show you the latest VistaScript update, the 0.9.3. So who doesn't know what VistaScript is? These programs uh, use AI technology to generate relief model out of image. Now, since the latest update, uh, we have also added the ability to generate vectors. Uh, this is, has been drastically improved because it was actually uh, added into the 0.9.1 and now we have uh, improved quite a lot but I'm not gonna uh, discuss that in this video, I will uh, cover that in another video. So today I'm gonna focus on the generation of a 3D model out of an image. So uh, right now you can also obviously generate uh, an image using text um, and this is also been severely improved. The AI is a lot more capable, a lot more, uh, you know, accurate in generating the, the image. But right now I'm going to focus on just uploading your own image and generate a relief. So I'm going to click on uh, the right side panel, load image. And uh, right now I'm going to show you the new feature that has been introduced with the 0.9.3, which is the ability to basically um, edit your image using the AI. So for example, let's say you want to create a relief out of, uh, out of this line art here. I'm gonna upload this. Now, obviously, here is this new feature. This is the AI relief preview. And what this does essentially, it's uh, creating a relief image out of your input image, which will then be used to generate the relief. And the benefit of that is that it will create depth, it will simulate and reconstruct all this feature, just like imagining as a, as a relief. And image like this one are really suited to this type of job because they're just flat. So the way VistaScript works uh, it's trying to be really accurate in uh, emulating the depth and because this image doesn't really have any depth uh, It's kind of flat. It's just gonna like uh, Simulate some of the depth, but obviously the, the result won't be you know as good as having a proper Relief image or let's say you took a, a picture of a relief and you put in the program in that case You probably don't need this process you can skip this but right now this is crucial so i'm gonna click generate and it will take approximately a minute to process using the ai uh and then we get the output so here is the result as you can see on the right side we have the uh, ai preview relief and we can see that it has basically kept all the feature you know the tree on the left side is here the tree behind the house, the mountain, you know, the river here with the little bridge, the grass, basically everything has been reproduced as a, as a relief style. And now we can use this and we, I'm going to apply it and it's going to load there on the right side panel. Obviously, we can also edit this. For example, if we, we want to further enhance this image, we can also click on um, enhance image. This is going to further enhance the, the image quality. It's going to make all the small detail more refined. Uh, so yeah, overall, I don't always recommend to do it, but you can try it and just to see the, uh, the result. But overall, the original image, so the AI preview was already good. I'm going to just see here the difference in a moment. So here's the difference. I would say it did make a small difference. We can go back and forward and I'm going to go and click apply. Now, obviously the way this image is being generated, it's uh, it's a really optimized relief. You know, it's a very subtle relief. Uh, I'm actually going to crop a little bit the bottom as well and I'm going to click generate. So I'm going to make this really thin, just depth scale two. And detail scale, I'm going to go 100% here. So essentially the way this works, it's essentially like a cake. So the depth scale is like how many layers. So for example, you can make this image, this relief pretty, you know, thick while keeping a certain amount of detail. So it, it, because you are creating the relief from scratch, 
you don't have like a baked uh you know depth map that has that fixed dimension and when you scale it on the z axis it's gonna you know also scale the detail in this case uh, you can specifically choose the amount of details that you want. So this is really, uh, you know, very crafted for professional usage. Uh, so you can essentially craft the model in the specific dimension proportion that you want. So usually um, when I do the AI relief preview, I'm going to go 100% detail scale because the image, it's, uh, it's not super high in contrast uh so when you don't have high contrast you want to increase the detail scale when the contrast is very high then maybe it's better to lower a little bit because the detail will be no maybe a little bit too much but you can al always just generate again uh so it's not a big problem uh, i'm gonna click generate here i uh, don't want to move anything else I'm gonna click generate and this it will take about two minutes depending on your you know, machine. So I will catch you when the process is finished. Okay, so the generation is just complete and that's the result. Uh, I'm going to click on the light so we can move a little bit. You see all the, the lighting is responding and uh, I'll say it's, it's not too bad. It's very, you know, optimize it so this is perfect to be carved on a thin material obviously you can still increase the the thickness here obviously if you do this now you're gonna also increase the detail so per perhaps if you want to have for example this overall depth more you know you know pr pronounce it like this you probably want to regenerate this using perhaps depth scale like four instead of just scaling the z-axis because obviously as you can see it's gonna increase the detail quite a lot which in some case might be helpful like for, for for example now i can increase a little bit and it will look a little bit more carved but um you know that obviously it depends on what you want to do so that's the result i'm gonna load a little bit like this and now you can do whatever you want with this. I mean, you, you can even make a frame. Click on the frame option here. You have some frame shape. You can make an angle like this, the inner offset, uh, like this one, the outside offset, the thickness. You, you can increase or lower the, the sides to make, for example, something like this. And I click apply, it's gonna auto crop. Or perhaps you can undo that. There is a, I mean, a rounded shape. Or there's also a library which it does have, you know, some default um, shape, some default frame. But uh, you can also create your own frame. You can generate here or just upload an image, ge generate the model, and then you can load inside here, upload the STL frame and uh, you can put the frame on uh, your image so for example something like this i'm going to increase slightly the dimension like this mirror on the other side move a little bit on the left uh, move the z axis up uh, here is not full it's not full uh, you know covering this side you can also crop this and create the background i'm gonna show this in another video though so i'm just right now i'm just showcasing uh this new ai preview feature so i'm gonna delete this now i'm gonna create something else load the image uh we could create this i'm gonna actually make the image of this person so here again uh we can generate the preview now it does happen that this has a little bit of black band here so i'm going to show you how to crop the image uh, before the uh, preview generation you can click here on enable cropping and then you can drag this uh, angle here and i'm going to remove a little bit the bottom because it does appear to have a black band and okay so just like this uh, with the error selected i'm going to click preview and uh, it will generate uh, the uh, image as a you know as a relief 
okay so this is the output uh yeah so overall it looks pretty good looks pretty pretty accurate the airline are essentially the same the nose the mouth it's just slightly changed but i'll say it's 95 percent uh similar to the input image uh, i'm going to click uh, ok use ai version and it's going to load on the right panel obviously here again we can edit the image uh, we could right now uh, remove the background which will essentially crop uh, the image and it will result into having the 3d model already crop it but right now i'm gonna just generate it uh, using you know the regular image uh, i'm going with depth scale 3 and detail scale always to 100 percent again this image uh doesn't have really high contrast so it's fine if we use 100 percent but if the image does have a little bit too much contrast then you want to lower a little bit of this detail although you know it will be too much to to compensate it to to carve it. the detail inside the model will be too much um you know depth so yeah i'm gonna keep everything else the same obviously here we can choose ultra quality but right now just for the sake of it and for speed i'm gonna click on high and i'm going to generate the model uh here the smoothing is auto adjusted uh but if you think that the output does need a little bit of more polish maybe you see so much you know noises or maybe maybe you can also re no, uh, reduce it a little bit if you want a more sharp um, output but usually the auto option does a pretty much a good job most of the time but it's up to you so yeah it's gonna to generate this image and i'll catch you soon as soon as finished okay generation complete and this is the output and i will say it looks pretty pretty good now uh the result does uh, appear to be kind of you know short into the uh, depth but this really depends on uh, the type of relief you want to do if you want to make a really thick relief then in that case uh it's you know worth increase this value obviously you can increase the thickness here but as you can see you are also increasing the detail along because right now the mesh it's baked uh, it's the detail the, the the thickness the geometry it's everything just baking in one model so if you want to increase the thickness this is not the best uh, option you should just recreate this using a different depth scale and it will essentially keep this amount of detail but with a different depth but yeah this is good if you want to make a you know relief on a thin material you can remove the background you can also change the background for example you can use the remove plan let's see if i'm able to capture everything uh, maybe a little bit of here let's see uh, it does um, there is this small piece here I can use the brush, I'm going to increase the size and the strength. I'm going to press here G just to push this below the red plane. And now if I click apply, it's going to it's going to essentially uh, crop the mesh. Or you can also create a background, uh, uploading your own texture. Uh, but right now I'm just going to make a, a regular crop. Okay, that looks good perfect uh now obviously the remove plane is good for a uh, simple geometry but if you want to make a more complex you know crop you also have the crop tool here uh, which allows you to uh, essentially be more precise and everything but yeah so far the model looks pretty good it looks very very accurate to the original image and it was just a few clicks i mean uh really if you if you if you seen this um no one would have thought this was made by ai it's it's that good it's literally that good um uh, so yeah this is uh this is the output we can always uh you know put into a frame uh it's missing the background so i'm gonna click on fill bottom and it will create the bottom 
or maybe we can uh, make a different frame something like this with a little bit of angle here it's not uh, it's, it's not uh, no fixing the side it needs to be a little bit higher to fuse a little bit well together um, I'm gonna increase slightly just a little bit like this and fill the bottom and I think that's probably the best frame oops kind of mess it a little bit here it needed to be a little bit more inside but that's fine so this is the output I think it looks good um, and you can export this right now uh, as a depth map as a, as a STL as thief uh, even as a normal map you can also make normal map on Visascope. Uh, but yeah, let's say I'm gonna export as a depth map. Um, I'm gonna put just the file name, just test, save. It's going to generate the depth map. And what's cool, you can export a different type of depth map based on your needs. Usually, the regular depth map is just the the black, the black one with a black background. But uh, some software do also, you know, prefer to have a white background. Uh, so it's really up to you uh, and the quality is gonna be really really high quality depth map so this is pretty much the first video on uh, Vistascoop the new update I'm gonna make several more uh, in those you know week so stay updated follow the channel uh, download Vistascoop it's uh, free to test there is a free demo so if you like the program you can purchase the license later and uh, I think that's it for this video I will catch you in another one we can see some other you know relief some other project uh, some other feature that I've, I've not covered yet uh, so yeah stay tuned with the channel and uh, follow also the social media you can you know find the link into the description and I will see you in the next video bye bye